Welcome back to Remade in California. We are the show that explores people who are launching new careers, businesses, or reinventing themselves. We've been speaking with successful small business owners this episode. Our next guest is a quote, underground millionaire who believes a great deal of the success is based on the power of mentorship. Joining us is author of the recent book, Spontaneous Transformation, Jennifer McLean. Jennifer, thanks for joining us. It's awesome being here with you, Pat. Thank you for having me. So you got to tell me, what's an underground millionaire? Well, an underground millionaire is this new cast of society in a way. And um, they're a group of individuals that found something that they were compelled to do in the world and used off-the-shelf technology and mentors and um, online mentoring to actually figure out how to take their gift, their what I call their success signature, and bring it into the world, bring it into the market online. And they've created info products, they've created um, mentorship programs, they've created products, some of them are inventors. And the technology we have on the planet right now allows these people to be millionaires. And they don't have a job, they don't have a paycheck, they run their own businesses, and in many cases, they're, they're small businesses. So they're just a group of between two and five people, and they're generating millions. Wow, and man, California being the home of Silicon Valley's gotta have many, right? It's, California is the hub. Yeah. California is the hub for this whole generation. Yeah. And a lot, of the under, a lot of the technologies that these underground millionaires are using come from tech companies from California who themselves are <laughs> underground millionaires. Right, yeah, and I'm sure technology, so, so tell me how mentoring helps become an underground millionaire. There, is so, there are so many programs out there that teach individuals how to take their vision, their success, their um, unique gifts, and bring them into the marketplace. So I'm actually one of those mentors. I help people to define and understand how to bring what they're amazing at and find a market and sell to that market. And I know you have a phrase, infopreneurial. Yes, so, infopreneurial. So tell me a little bit about that. Now, infopreneuring is, is, uh, is another uh, aspect of this underground millionaire marketplace. Infopreneuring is essentially what we're talking about, okay. selling, selling mentorship. So let, let's say you're really great at golf and you have these really secret, like you're a golf whisperer, and you have these secret wonderful ways that teach people how to do golf. Well, with all the technology, you can now take that, create a product, an info product, video product, audio product, even online coaching. You can do it live or you can do it uh, in your, all of it's from your home. Okay. And you actually can sell those products now. And so that is a form of mentorship that you can actually sell to, to actually become one of those underground millionaires. So it's taking something we would take of, we would think of in terms of like doing one-on-one -on -one in a session yes. and really- Leveraging it. Making it a product that then can become a business. Exactly, I call it leveraging it. And I call it leveraging it from me doing something just for you to me taking my genius that just happened between us mm -hmm. and giving it to thousands if not millions. Right, wow, that's a great idea. So, and I know uh, in terms of uh, getting the skill set to do that kind of thing, one of, one of the areas, I know you went to community college in Canada. Yes. And one of the areas we talk a lot about is how people, particularly people of a certain age, need to remake themselves technologically. Without a you doubt. Know, there's digital natives and, there, <laughs> and then there's doubt. the rest of us. That's right. We hand our phone to the 14 year old and say, fix it. <laughs> That's right. That's uh, right. So how, how important is that in terms well, of Well, you the, know, I think what I love so much about community college is the focus of the teachers are often, they have experience already. Um, they are, you know, uh, they are there to guide their students in a way and the, the capacity for a community college to, see, to teach a skill, to teach technology as a skill um, for anyone of any age to go in and exactly what you're saying, Pat, remake themselves. Right. I think the community college is a wonderful, wonderful offering um, in California and, yeah. and other states. Yeah. What key element yeah. would you be looking for in terms of this? You know, Laurel... Uh, Even the virtual mentoring you're yes, talking about. Yes, you definitely... Laurel mentioned it a little bit, and I, I, I love some of the things... One of the things she shared that I want to illustrate again is you want to have a mentor who's done it. 
way better. Like not a mentor who's one step ahead of you. Okay. Now, not the, the mentor that just made $50,000 or if mm-hmm. you want to make a million, you want to get the mentor who's made multiple millions. Right. You want to get someone who's done it and done it many times uh, because they know the pitfalls. And those kind of mentors, they will know the blind spots and they'll be able to look at you and your skill set and say, here's the pieces you're missing in your business that you're going to need help with. And right. so you want to make sure you've got someone who's done it and query them make right. sure you're asking them right. what tell me your experience tell me what you did wrong and what did you learn from it those are the best mentors the best mentors are the ones that ba- went bankrupt at least once. <laughs> they have the good lessons to <laughs> learn great lessons <laughs> for more information about jennifer mclean and her mentorship success go to successsignature.com also on how california community colleges can help you be remade in california Go to doingwhatmatters.ccc.edu. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Remade in California.